Since 1985, we've celebrated October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month, largely due to the efforts of former First Lady Betty Ford. We do this to increase awareness, encourage early detection, and honor survivors. Today's Tech Bite will be slightly outside of the box as we bring in one of my favorite survivors, and she's gonna tell us about the tech that helps increase awareness and save lives. I'm Patrick Motes. Welcome to this week's Tech Bite. Tech Bite, sponsored by Epico's Comics, Cards, and Games. It's a huge honor to get to introduce you to one of mine and my wife's favorite survivors, Ashley Ellison. Not only is she a survivor, she's also a stage competitor, so she's gonna tell us about the tech that helps save her life and why you should get early detection. Ashley, thank you so much for coming. It's great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Um, so I, I had a lot of technology as I was diagnosed and through my treatment. Um, the first I had was a mammogram. Okay. Um, and then I had two biopsies and a multitude of other scans uh, to get me ready for treatment. So you're used to being inside basically of a tube and having scans all over. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, so walk us through those because I know there's technology that does 3D scanning now, there's contrast MRIs, like. Yeah, I think I had it all. Um, but my first mammogram was actually just a regular mammogram. Now, since then, I've done the 3D mammograms, um, which is a better way for them to detect early breast cancer. Um, but I also have them every six months to follow up to make sure I don't have anything recurring. All right, so we've mentioned 3D mapping. Tell me how that works. Okay, so I am not the tech person, I'm the survivor. However, before my surgery, they did a 3D scan where they actually mark uh, where the tumor was. So my chemotherapy actually shrunk the tumor to where they couldn't see it anymore, but they do this mapping so that when the surgeon goes in to do the lumpectomy and remove the tissue, they've basically got a marker there. It's really neat. So it's X marks the spot, essentially. Basically. So they make a map to where it was out of a 3D model. Yes. And how many scans did you have to go through for that? Uh, just one, okay. right before surgery. Very interesting. Yeah. All right, so all of that sounds uh, fascinating from a tech perspective, but talk about the early detection and why is that important? Yes, I can definitely do that. So my tumor was actually big and, and you could see it and you could feel it, but that's not always the case. So that's why it's so important for women to get mammograms when you turn 40 for sure, but if you have a, a family history, you should get it before. So when Betty Ford went through all of this in the 70s, it was probably scary. Tech was not really a thing. There probably wasn't even much, much of a thing as early detection. So talk about that. Like what kind of tech is there in early detection and why is it important? Why is it not scary or is it scary? It's not scary at all. It seems a little scary to, to hear about it, but the technology has come so far with specifically mammograms. Uh, that paired with the professionals that administer the mammogram, it's not painful, it's not scary. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's very non-invasive and we, you shouldn't be scared. The horror stories are not always the horror, so. Well, and again, technology has made leaps and bounds in 40 something years. It has, yes. Anything you want to tell anybody at home about early detection? Yes, please, please go get your mammograms, get your scans, see your doctors, do self exams, and if you feel something, schedule that appointment. It saved my life. And I'm glad that it did, because I'm glad you're here. That's all we have for today. Make sure, uh, as she said, to get your scans, get your checkups, honor the survivors and those that we've lost in your life. I'm Patrick Motes. Thank you for watching Tech Bite. Tech Byte, sponsored by Epico's Comics, Cards, and Games.